Hi, in this short video, I'm going to give you a quick tour and demo of Restricted Sessions for SSH. Restricted Sessions is a new feature in Teleport 7, and it allows you to provide a very fine-grained policy for the active SSH session. We currently have started on providing network restrictions, but we plan to add more types in the future. If you've watched my video on enhanced session recording, um, we've built upon this feature. One thing that you need is a enhanced session recording to be on, and that requires a relatively modern Linux distro with a kernel above 5.8. So when you're setting this up, you need um, one of these four key distros, but the key thing to look for is make sure that the Linux kernel is above 5.8. Network restrictions kind of work similar to a firewall, but there's a few different differences. Firewall rules often apply to the entire machine, whereas Network restrictions are only applied to the SSH sessions. Whereas firewalls typically block ingress, network restrictions can also block egress connections too. And then firewall rules are relatively static, but restricted sessions come with an API, so you can update them dynamically across an entire fleet. So there might be certain cases in which you want to really limit certain inbound or outbound connections. You can turn those on and off very quickly compared to some firewalls. Step one is to install and configure Teleport on the node. Once you have your distro, you'll need to install um, Teleport and this will connect to a auth, proxy, and node. So in my case, I um, in this demo config, I have Teleport root cluster set up and then I'm just dialing back and setting up this SSH service. For my configuration, I've arranged a service here. Um, me this is my host, which I have um, BPPF and BPPF restricted sessions. Let me make it a bit bigger for you. And then you can see here we have the SSH service. It has been enabled true. Restricted sessions also enabled true. Restricted sessions do require enhanced session recording to be true for it to work. Then next up, you will want to define your network restrictions policy. This is defined um, using a YAML file. If I, um, I have a file here, which is the same, um, which when restricted session is enabled, the network policy becomes deny all, and then you have to add ranges back. So in this case, we have an example of allowing LAN access, link local or local host. And we've also, override allow with an exception. So you can um, deny also the financial database as an example. We use tcuddle, which is our administrative tool. So let's um, tcuddle. Okay, so I've actually already applied this. If I can show you, you can use tcuddle get to see what your current network restrictions are. You can see this is the same as the YAML file, but let's show you what it looks like if I go into this host. So if I am going to um, curl Google, see if I can access it. You can see that the operation is not permitted on either IPv6 or IPv4. So if I come back to my teleport instance, You can see here, this is the IPv4 attempt and IPv6. One addition in our audit log is, you see action is one. That means that it has been blocked by the network restrictions. So if I come in here and let's just change this. So I'm gonna just say allow all. And then we use tcuddle. So I've updated it. So now if I come back to my host, you can see that I can make the connection. And in my audit log, the network connection has been made and the action is zero. We've kind of gone through inspecting the logs. Like you see, action zero means it has been observed. 
but action one means it has been denied. So that kind of brings me to the end of network restrictions. As you can see, it's a very powerful feature. You can also enable and disable it during active sessions, which I think is a very um, powerful feature of this. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in our GitHub discussions or on our Slack forum. Thanks for watching.